Hi. In this video, I want to show you something that comes up fairly frequently. It's when there's a payment from the checking account to the credit card, it somehow gets applied twice. I just want to show you what it looks like, how it happens, how to undo it, and how to not do it again. So I've got a sample company file and I've got some payments downloaded from the checking account as well as some payments in the credit card. So let me just walk you through what this, what this looks like and what happens. When we're looking at the tile for the checking account, I can see I have payments. One is 827 and the other one is 1019. When I click on the tile for the credit card, I can see that I have payments of 827 and 1019. One of the things that happens with QuickBooks Online is that we'll helpfully suggest the source of your payments. So in this example, it's helpfully suggesting the source of this payment is from uncategorized. And if I click on it, it'll say uncategorized asset. I think your business is probably a lot like mine in which the uncategorized asset doesn't exist. There is no magical fairy that's paying my credit card bill. It's, it's literally just me. So this isn't right. Um, so that's a topic for a whole nother, um, a whole nother video, but I definitely wanted to let you know, you know, Hey, if, if you see this uncategorized asset, just recognize that that's not right. Like the money didn't come from, from some uncategorized asset. It came from your checking account. So first I'll start, I'll start and show you how things get um, kind of put into the register incorrectly. So I've got the Bank of America credit card. And so um, I've got a payment that's received. So this is saying $827 went to my Bank of America credit card. And then I'm going to tell it where it came from. And it came from my checking account. So business checking, 2345. Your business checking account will be whatever your checking account is. I just got creative instead of doing one, two, three, four, I did two, three, four, five. So where did the money come from? It came from my checking account. Go ahead and click on add. I'm changing this to add because I want to show you an example. So for the next payment, I'm going to say the money came from business checking two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to select add on the right hand side. When I look at my register, um, if I click the blue go to register, I can see my payments, my 10, 1019 and my 827. So that's good so far. Now what sometimes happens is these payments get doubled up and I want to show you how they get doubled up. So let me go back to where I started with these banking tiles. So now I've got the banking tile opened and I can see my payment to my Bank America credit card. It's 827. And so this is saying money has left my checking account. Why has it left my checking account? QuickBooks in this case is helpfully suggesting uncategorized expense, which we know isn't true. The reason it left my checking account is because it went to my credit card. So this is what sometimes clients will do is they'll type in credit card because that makes the most sense and then click add. And they'll go to the next one and they'll say, yep, the money went to Bank America. Why did it go there? Because I want it to link to the credit card. Fantastic. And you click add. And now I'll show you what it looks like when you go to the register for that credit card. I'm going to click on the blue tile for the credit cards and then I'm going to click on go to register. Now a moment ago when we looked at this register, we only had one payment of 827 and we had one payment of 1019 and now we have two payments for each of those. So what happened was when you were in the, the tile for the credit card, you said, okay, these credit card payments came from my checking account. Please let's add that to my register. And it added it to the register for your credit card. It also added it to the register for your checking account. And then when you went to the tile for your checking account, you said, oh, I know what to do with these. These are payments that went to my credit card. And so then you added it to your register for your credit card, which added it to your checking account as well. And so that's how it ended up becoming duplicated. So if I click this drop down and change from Bank America credit card, if I scroll up and go to business checking, I can see they're duplicated here too. So I've messed up two things. Um, in addition, when I click on banking, these numbers are wildly off from what they should be. So that's how things go wrong. If you're in that situation where those things have gone wrong, let me walk you through how to kind of undo it. And then the last thing I'll do is walk you how, how to take care of it so it doesn't happen again. Or so hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, we all have bad days. So I can't promise you it won't happen again. I'm going to go ahead and go to the tile for the credit card. And I'm going to click on the tab called reviewed. 
when I click on the review tab, you're going to see a longer list. I keep this list pretty short because I'm, I'm trying to consolidate and only have stuff in here that I need for my videos. That way you don't see endless amounts of stuff. When you're looking at this for your business, you're going to see lots and lots of stuff. And I just need you to scroll down until you find the payments to your credit card and go ahead and click undo. So I've undone both of the payments for my credit card. Now when I click on the For Review tab, I can see both of my payments are here in my to-do list. It also happens to say one record found, which is fantastic. That's what we want. But before I go ahead and click on anything here, I just want to show you what's happening in the register. I'm going to go to the right-hand side and click on Go to Register. I can now see I have one payment for each. I don't have any more duplicates, and that's perfect. I can verify I don't have duplicates by clicking on my checking account and just looking here. And I don't see duplicates here either, so I'm happy with both of those things. When I click on Banking, I see that there's one record found. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the box to expand it. When I expand it, I can see that it QuickBooks is saying, you know what, I think I can match this transaction with the transaction that's already in the register. And it's essentially asking you for permission. So QuickBooks is saying, hey, you know what? I found this record right here. Can I match this record, which I have found in the QuickBooks already, with this record, which is downloaded from your bank? So your bank said, hey, QuickBooks, here's some information. And QuickBooks said, you know what? I think I already know about this information. Can I link those two things together? And I'm going to say, yes, you can. So go ahead and click on match. And the, the reason I'm not, uh, or the reason you can elect to not expand it is because this detail that you see here highlighted, it's just available over here on the right. So I, I get in the habit of looking over here and you can see the date is 820. I can see the bank download is 819. So no big deal. It got entered into my register one day later, but I know it's the same transaction. It's not, you know, it's not weeks apart. It's not months apart. It's, you know, is a day or two apart. No big deal. So I'm going to click on match. Now, because I want to feel confident that I did this correctly, I'm going to click on go to register and just take a look. I can see I have one payment, one payment. That's perfect. I know that it's going to look right in my checking account, but I really want you to see it. So I'm just going to click on the drop down and change my register from my credit card to my checking. And now when I look at my checking account, I can see there's only one payment and only one payment. So if you find yourself in this predicament where you have duplicate payments, you're going to have duplicate payments probably in a couple of spots. The, um, the easiest thing that I find to do is just to pick, and I often pick the credit card because it's usually what's goofy. Go to the tab and click on reviewed, and then just come down and click undo on the payments, and then see if when you undo them, see if they show up with one record found here. If you click undo and you don't see one record found, perhaps you just see a screen like this and you think, well, that's that's no good. That takes me back where I started. What you can do is you can say match. And oftentimes, instead of saying match, it'll say find match. And it'll, it'll give you a chance to search for the match. But you just click on match and then choose match. And then you're all set. If you get stuck, if this doesn't make sense, if you're having a situation that's similar but not quite the same, feel free to book 15 minutes with me and we'll just walk through it and fix it together. I'll record the session so you can go back and rewatch it so you can troubleshoot stuff going forward on your own. Okay, thanks.